Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up the Helm Argo CD with Terraform. And we are going to use the Auto Image Updater for our EKS updated image, which we are going to build through the GitLab runner. And we are going to use the two repositories. Just for understanding, uh, one repository is going to be GitLab, right? And we are going to use the GitLab runner. Um, along with that, let me show you that. This part I've already covered uh, with the two runner. Uh, both are runner. Uh, both runners are running in the Docker container on my um, server, right? And the architecture is going to be like that. This is my um, GitHub repo that I have a um, private repository which is going to be pulled that particular GitLab runner, and it is going to update that values.yml. In that we have image, and that image. Um, is going to be uh, this and the tag is going to be whatever it is going to do that and it's going to do that automatically with the image updater so uh, let's begin this is the first part so let me show you that um, this is my container up and running right and um, this is one container with the chasm desktop and these are the workspaces in this workspace i have uh, my aws account and we are going to uh, first of all need of course, EKS cluster, if you navigate to the EKS section, you will see currently we don't have any EKS cluster and I'm going to spin up EKS cluster to spin that. Uh, I'm going to use Terraform and uh, for the Terraform, uh, I have a public repo. In the past, I've already made a lot of videos regarding the Terraform, so detailed videos, you can watch that. So this is the repo I'm going to use. So if uh, you navigate to this repo section and the main TF, right, uh, the version uh, you will see that is going to be one to one but uh, what i have done here let me show you let me open in uh, this in vs code and i've updated the version to uh, navigate to this section terraform main tf and this version is going to be which i'm going to use uh, is 1.23 right so uh, this is the name of cluster which we are going to uh, use and um, other stuff uh, detail i've already covered in, in my previous videos right so just the basic idea you need to clone this repo and uh, let me take a shell into my container uh chasm desktop container so let me do that so if i do uh, docker docker ps uh, docker exec into awesome and do patch so so sudo okay so, as you so this is my terraform aks right and um, if i navigate to uh, terraform directory right environment dev right if i uh, do ls you will see that key dot shell so what you need to do um, is to key create a key first um, i have this uh, package installed if you're using windows sometimes the directory uh, sorry file uh, is not read by uh, windows so you need to do dos to unix and uh, make all this file in the linux format and to um, to run this shell script right so um let me do that so um i've already run that so that's why it's giving error because the key is already there terraform cloud geeks already exists that's why it's not in fact error is uh, you know um, is the right message regarding that so uh, anyway guys and then what you need to do in is to source uh, this eks.env uh, as i discussed i've covered all the detail in uh, previous videos so i'm going to do terraform in it so um i've already provided my um, credentials aws credentials right and i'm going to do terraform in it it is going to initialize and we are going to do the plan so um, let's do the plan and plan you will see that the architecture is going to deploy um it's going to create a vpc along with one net gateway along with that um, uh, eks cluster with one node um so just for this demo we need one node and um that is just more than enough so let me do that show you this part then i'm going to um, um 
close this video. So let me do uh, now. I'm going to apply. I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to do auto approve. So let's do that. So it's going to deploy all the infrastructure with this uh, side range 1060. Dot zero zero slice sixteen, and these are the subnets, public private subnets, and the net way it is going to create in that particular uh, VPC, it is going to create that particular EKS cluster for us. So um, that's it. Uh, that is the first part. We need EKS cluster, right? And in the next part, I'm going to show you what we need. Uh, so see you next video. Please like, share, subscribe the channel. Have a nice day.